When we want to speak about revolver shotguns, we have to define first what that term even means. For some, it's a shotgun that uses a revolving magazine instead of the typical magazine tubes. Others go so far to include those shotguns that use tubular magazines that do rotate. Yes, they exist, and we'll take a look at them. Then there are those who speak about revolvers that are able to also fire shotgun shells. In order to make it right for each of these factions, we include all of them. So let's get right into it. Number 8. The Pancor Corporation Jackhammer The Jackhammer from Pancor Corporation is a 12-gauge shotgun that is gas-operated and a bullpup design. This means that the magazine sits behind the magazine and as a revolver shotgun that is a revolving magazine. This hammer of a shotgun was designed in 1984 and patented in 1987. Features in several computer games, but when it comes to real-life use, there are only three working prototypes built. Some dispute this number and say that not even one was completed. So or so, there is zero chance that any of us gets one of them, so that is a difference with no meaning. To make matters worse, even if it has been produced, sales to civilians would have been close to impossible as the jackhammer was classified as a machine gun by U.S. law with severe legal restrictions placed on it. Indeed, the shotgun is capable of fully automatic fire and is fed by a revolving cylinder holding 10 shotgun shells. It featured a thumb selector and safety switch by which it could also put in semi-automatic fire mode. As a bullpup revolver shotgun, there would be in theory significant risk for the shooter when firing. This is owed to what is called the cylinder cap. To mitigate, the front of the shell sealed the breech. For that, the barrel was pressed back into the front end of the cylinder with each shot fired. The barrel was driven forward under the pressure of the gas by a ring piston. The breech cleared the cartridge and the cylinder was rotated to the next round, at which moment the barrel returns through the pressure of a spring. The spent shells stayed in their chambers in the cylinder like it is normal for a revolver. Number 7, 612. The 612 is a compact 12-gauge shotgun that is fed from a 6-round revolving magazine. Also comes in a bullpup design. This places more of the weight close to the shooter, making it easy to use. Also, it keeps the gun short while still featuring a full-length barrel. This keeps it powerful while at the same time easy to manage when shooting it. Intended for hunting home and self-defense, it fires 12-gauge shotgun shells with a length of 3 inches. It is semi-automatic with a mechanical action, making it very reliable. Also, the barrel can easily be swapped if necessary. Number 6. Armsel Striker The Armsel Striker is a combat shotgun that is also intended for riot control. Its origin is from South Africa and is in use with the South African National Defense Forces as well as the Israeli Police and the Vietnamese Defense Forces. The shotgun fires 12-gauge shells from 12 revolving magazines and for compact models from 7-round magazines. The barrel length varies from 7.5 inches to 18.5 inches. While the cylinder magazine took long to reload, the gun was a success on the market. Working like a revolver with a double-action trigger, the size and weight of the cylinder would make it very hard to rotate it with a trigger pull. This is done with a clockwork spring, one turn made for a long reloading time. That was changed to a cooking lever on the right side to speed up the process. Number 5. N-Arm Pentagon The Pentagon is a revolver shotgun from Brazil made by N-Arm. It has a capacity of 5 and fires in double-action only. The gap between the cylinder and barrel is eliminated by a barrel that moves 1.5 mm backwards into a recess in the chamber in the cylinder. Also, it comes with a straight line configuration to keep muzzle rise at a minimum. The shotgun weighs a little less than 7 pounds and comes with a 20-inch barrel in its commercial variant. For the police and military, the barrel length is just 11.4 inches. Number 4. MTS-255 The MTS-255 is a Russian shotgun that is fed by a 5-round revolving cylinder. It's available in different chamberings from 12 gauge to 410 bore. A distinguishing feature is the forearm that extends nearly all the way to the cylinder. Loading is done as you would expect from a revolver. You swing out the cylinder, eject the empty shells, and load the chambers one by one. There are two main versions available, one for civilian use and one for law enforcement. The civilian version comes with permanent wooden butt and forend. The law enforcement version comes with a black plastic folding stock and a Picatinny rail for attaching sights. Number 3. SRM Arms Model 1216 the SRM Arms Model 1216 is a delayed blowback semi-automatic shotgun with a very high capacity. Feeds from a 16-round magazine. Not only is it quick detachable, it also revolves. This makes for a rather light and mobile shotgun that is perfect for law enforcement and home defense. The magazine sports four tubes that run parallel to the barrel. Each tube has its own spring and follower and holds four shotgun shells. Either 2.75 inch or 3 inch shells. That makes for a total of 16. Is one magazine empty? Well, you just flip a switch and rotate it manually, either clockwise or counterclockwise. This also allows you to load each tube with a different type of shell and to select the right one when you need it. 
Once all rounds are expended, you can attach the magazine and insert a new one. The shotgun comes with a polymer stock to reduce weight and a steel upper receiver. The charging handle, manual safety, and even the ejection port can be moved from one side to the other so you can fit it to your requirements. There are Picatinny rails on the top and at the sides to allow attaching whatever accessories you need. There are two variants of this gun. One is the Model 1212, which has a shortened barrel with a length of 13 inches. The magazine is still detachable and rotating, but it holds only 12 rounds for three rounds in each tube. The other one is the Model 1208 with a barrel length of 10 inches. Here, the magazine holds only eight rounds with two shells per tube. Number two, IWI Tavor TS-12. The Tavor TS-12 from IWI is a bullpup design feeding from a revolving magazine with three tubes instead of the typical chambers. This makes for a capacity of 15 plus one rounds with five shotgun shells in each tube. Shotgun sports rails to mount accessories and a barrel length of 18.5 inches. IWI developed it to overcome the typical capacity limitations of shotguns for which usually eight rounds is considered much. However, the increase of capacity was to be achieved without increasing the length of the gun. This made for a tube that's broken down in three parts, hence the revolving magazine and a bullpup design shortening the overall length even further. Now, some might point to the detachable box magazines that more and more shotguns use nowadays. While they exist, they are often not reliable enough to be used in a life and death situation. Side effect of a revolving magazine is the ability to switch between different kinds of shells during an encounter if the need arises. Also, you can move a tube so that you can eject the shells inside directly so that you do not have to cycle them through the gun. Number one, Taurus Raging Judge. Finally, we come to a revolver that is also a shotgun. So far, all the guns were shotguns first that were turned into a revolver shotgun by the addition of a revolving magazine. The Taurus Raging Judge is a revolver first with the added ability to shoot shotgun shells. Now, being a revolver first kind of limits its firepower as it does not shoot 12-gauge shotgun shells. Instead, it shoots 410 bore shells. Compared to 12-gauge, that is a disappointment, you would say. But the Taurus Raging Judge actually does have something going for it that makes it a strong shotgun. Before we dive into that, we need to take a look at the shotgun as such. One of the great features, abilities to shoot a wide variety of loads, from birdshot all the way to slugs. Keep that in mind when looking at the Taurus Raging Judge. When we look at the shotgun part of the Raging Judge, or just a Judge revolver, firing 410 bore gets you fewer pellets with less energy at the muzzle, which is even further reduced thanks to the barrel length. As a revolver, you do get an 18.5 inch barrel. For the Raging Judge, it's just 6.5 inches. If you think about shooting 410 bore slugs through it, you'll be even more disappointed. These slugs are light, so do not expect much penetration. So why are we even talking about this revolver? Well, let's put it this way. The Raging Judge is a handgun first and a shotgun second. If we compare it to other handguns, let's say a 9mm, we see that their muzzle energy sits somewhere in the range of 360 to 400 foot-pounds. Okay, it's a revolver, so maybe we want to look at the typical revolver round. Let's take the 357 Magnum, for example. This gets us somewhere in the range of 800 energy foot-pounds. However, we do not want to be stingy and take a look at the 556 by 45 mm NATO, fired from an AR-15 with a 20-inch barrel. This brings us in the range of typically 12 to 1400 energy foot-pounds. That sounds like something. For the Raging Judge, we move in the area of up to 1,900 energy foot-pounds. That is why it belongs here into the list of powerful shotguns. Granted, it does not achieve this with its 410 bore shells in either buckshot nor slug. It also does not achieve this with its ability to fire 45 cold. To get to these power levels, it fires 454 Castle as a heavy and really fast slug. This allows you to go after a small game with 410 or 45 cold, defend your home with 45 cold, and kill a bear with 454 Castle. For that, it comes with a capacity of six rounds of the cylinder. To withstand the pressure levels achieved with a 454 Castle, features a double cylinder lockup. While it is for a handgun neither short with a length overall 14.1 inches, nor light with a weight of 73 ounces, it is smaller and lighter as your typical shotgun. There you have it, some of the most powerful revolver shotguns you can find. If you think we missed one, put it into the comments and let us know why it should make this list.